wizard intends to steal plans for a super plane, Batman and Robin help guard them. But the wizard has discovered how to make himself invisible. And now he enters the research plan, unseen. I thought that blast had finished you. It would have if I hadn't stepped into the inner chamber to use my oxygen inhaler. Who set off that charge? I don't know. But you were here all the time. I was here, but someone knocked me out. How could anyone have gotten past those guards? Did you see anyone enter this office? No, sir, but something hit me and knocked me down. You mean the force of the explosion? No, sir, it was before that. Let's go find Commissioner Gordon. Turn these machines off before they break down. That means the wizard will become visible. He's probably back in his car by now. I suppose he isn't. Well, anyways, he ordered me to turn these things off when they got too hot. So you're the wizard. I'm no more the wizard than you are, Gordon. Is this the man you were chasing? Well, it could be if you wore a cloak. I think I shot him in the right hand. There. Talk yourself out of that, Dunn. Oh, I snagged it on the barbed wire climbing over the back fence. I suppose you were trying to catch the wizard, too. Certainly, just like everyone else. There's someone coming, and I hid in there. That part sounds possible. Wait a minute. Wizard's glove, torn by a bullet. This still doesn't clear you, Dunn. Take him down to the gate and turn him over to the police. Come on. Well, what do you think? We've got some important business to discuss with the company officials. I'll call a conference. Did you get the super jet plans? No. I became visible before I could get back inside. And I was almost trapped. Well, I had to turn the machines off. They got overheated. Yes, I realize that. When I perfect these devices, I'll be able to remain invisible indefinitely. You've been wounded. Oh, it's only a scratch where a bullet glanced off. I threw the research plan into an uproar. They're still trying to figure out how anyone got in there.
We have all the gates guarded. Is there a secret entrance to this place? No. I think we're on the wrong track. Whoever came in here just walked past the guards. I don't understand. I think we're dealing with an enemy who can't be seen. Well, what do you mean? Let me ask you scientists a question. The remote control machine at full power can cause disintegration, is that right? Yes, molecular disintegration. And the neutralizer with its electromagnetic force can check the disintegrating rays, right? That's correct. Now, if the beams from each machine crossed each other, what would happen to an object they focused on? Disintegration would be checked. The object would become invisible to the human eye. You see, the wizard has both machines and can make himself invisible at certain times. So far, we have one lead, the glove dropped by the wizard. Well, what we need are fingerprints. I may be able to get them by turning the glove inside out and examining it in my laboratory. You think you can get fingerprints from the inside of his glove? I hope so. Oh, yes, you have another clue. The wizard has a wound on his right hand. Well, so had done. How about checking Barry Brown and Hamill? I'll do it. I'll start out with Barry Brown first. See you gentlemen later. Yes? Barry Brown, the radio announcer is here. Send him right in. Hello, Commissioner. Have my recent broadcasts been bothering you? Yes, I'd still like to know where you're getting your information on the wizard's activities. Inside tips. They cost me plenty. Hmm. Take off your gloves. What? Take them off. Well, if you insist. What happened to your right hand? This? I cut my hand while moving some broken glass in my garage. Anything else you'd like to know? Plenty, and I'm going to find it out, too. Yes? That report on the Mills case is ready. I'll be right over. It's all for now, Brown. Keep my line open. I'm expecting a call from Batman. I've got him, Dick. Fingerprints on the glove? The wizard's fingerprints. And who do you think they are? Well, Professor Hamels. No, his attendant, Carter. Carter? <laughs> Commissioner Gordon speaking. This is Batman. I've identified the fingerprints of the glove. You have? Whose are they? Carter's. Carter's? Are you sure? There's no doubt of it. Well, let's get out to Professor Hamill's place right away. Batman and Robin are moving in on the wizard. It's still hard to believe that Carter is the wizard. It might explain many things. He had access to all of Hamill's scientific secrets. That's true. But Barry Brown was the man I suspected most. Oh, speaking of Brown, it's time for his broadcast. Tune him in. He'd give his right eye to know what we know. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, Barry Brown, your favorite newscaster. Good afternoon. Here is today's top story. Commissioner Gordon has identified the fingerprints of the criminal known as the wizard. Gordon is on his way at this moment to the home of a prominent scientist to make an arrest. How did he know that? I'll deal with Brown after I arrest Carter. Why didn't you knock, Carter? I, I'm you're, sorry, sir. You're spying on me. I won't have it. I failed, but I can still help you. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot.
Carter. He's dead. He's been murdered. Who's murdered? Carter. Didn't you hear any shots? No. I was in the garden. Why would anyone want to shoot him? It might interest you to know that he's the wizard. That's ridiculous. Impossible. His fingerprints prove otherwise. I'll never believe it. How'd you hurt your hand, Professor? I burned it in the laboratory. Well, Batman, it looks like our troubles are over. There's something wrong here. The wizard's much too smart to end up this way. Yeah, well, I'll call the coroner. Yes? Barry Brown is about to broadcast a special news bulletin. Thanks, I'll listen. We interrupt this program to bring you an important news bulletin by Barry Brown. This is for the attention of the authorities. They are wrong in thinking the wizard is dead. He is very much alive, and he threatens the life of Commissioner Gordon at 2 o'clock this afternoon in Gordon's own office. This threat must be taken with the utmost seriousness. The wizard is a desperate criminal who has the ability to make himself invisible. And now, at great danger to myself, I am about to reveal the wizard's true identity. He is... A... Oh. Oh. What's the matter, Barry? Barry, what happened? Barry, what's troubling you? Ladies and gentlemen, Barry Brown will be unable to continue this broadcast due to a mysterious accident. What happened here? Brown was broadcasting. Suddenly, he acted as if someone were choking him. Then he fell down, unconscious. And no one else was in the room but you? That's right. But if you look at his neck, you'll see real finger marks. Yeah, he's right. Looks like a throat hemorrhage. It'll be some time before he's able to talk. Then we'll have to wait to learn the true identity of the wizard. That's right. But don't forget, he's due in your office at 2 o'clock this afternoon. I don't know why I'm so chumpy. All the doors and windows into the building are locked. Don't forget, we're dealing with an invisible man. Well, he can't walk through glass and steel, can he? Hello, Batman. Commissioner. Hello, Vicki. I uh, see you brought your camera. Well, I still don't know what kind of a picture I'm to take. I don't either. But when you do, I want you to use this bulb. What kind is it? It's a specially treated infrared bulb sensitive to vibrations which cannot ordinarily be seen. It might help you photograph the invisible wizard. And just how do you focus on somebody you can't see? That's up to you to figure out. It's time for Neil to turn on the beams which will make me invisible. Sergeant, I want a complete check on all entrances. Look! 
Is there no way to control this invisible menace? What new danger confronts Vicky? For the terrific climax, see Batman Victorious, the final chapter of Batman and Robin, at this theater next week.